today we're going to go through a subject that I get a lot of questions about, and that's seed labels. If you go to any of the big box stores or even your local garden center, you see bags of seed, boxes of seed. On the back of it is a label, and it tells you what's in it. And it's, it's kind of tough to read through if you don't know what you're doing. So hopefully, I'm going to give you a little bit of information to make it much easier for you. According to federal law, the contents of that box, the different seeds are by weight. So if you have a mixture of three different seeds, you're going to see the percentage of the, each seed that's in there. And a few more important things, how much weed seed, how much crop seed, how much noxious seed. Uh, the first thing you look at is your actual seed mixture. And why get a seed mixture? Why not just throw all rye down or all bluegrass or all fescue? Well, one of the big things is genetic diversification. At certain seasons, either wet season, dry seasons, certain varieties get more disease or more stress and punk up because of that. So it's always good to put a mixture in so you, all your bases are covered. And not only that, you get like this particular mixture here is mostly turf type tall fescue, some ryegrass, some bluegrass. Now, do your turf type tall fescues tend to grow a little bit thick, a little bit uh, wide bladed, which is good, but the ryegrasses are a little bit thinner, a little bit greener, and what that does is soften up the appearance of the lawn. And you also get a little bit of bluegrass in there too. And I happen to like bluegrass because bluegrass is one of the only grasses that rhizomes. And what that means is, if you get a bluegrass plant and you treat it right, that little guy's gonna be out and he's spreading. And that also will thicken up the lawn. And there's nothing quite as nice as a blue bluegrass lawn. So you put all these things together and you have a pretty healthy, thick and beautiful lawn. Now the other thing you really have to worry about, I people come in to sit me and say, John, I can get this seed so much cheaper at such and such a place. And a lot of times, the reason they can do that, if you look on the label, it has weed seed. If there's a lot of weed seed, they can sell that seed a lot cheaper. But the biggest bugadoo is there's a category called noxious weed seed. Now, I have no tolerance for that. A noxious weed, according to the federal government, is a weed that you cannot get rid of. So what you're doing by buying cheap seed mixtures, you're putting weeds in that there is no cure for in your lawn. So what you're, you, know, you get what you pay for is basically what it comes down to. So be extremely watchful for the noxious weed count. Now you will have sometimes uh, a very under 1% weed seed, that's acceptable. Uh, or it, there's another thing called crop. And what that is is just some of the chafings and so forth, inert matter that is in the seed mixture. Now, the other thing to really watch out for is percentages. Now, this particular grass seed, as I said, only has about 10% bluegrass. But because this is packaged by weight, it's deceiving. Bluegrass seed is very, very small. Conversely, the other grass seeds are about 10 times, eight to 10 times bigger. So 10% bluegrass, because it's so very small and it's packaged by weight, means about 30% of this is actually bluegrass, which is a good thing in my mind. So uh, hopefully I'm, I've answered some questions for you on the labeling. Uh, there's one other thing on, usually the labels are fixed right about here. Occasionally you'll get a secondary label this label, this particular one, is a diamond quality. Uh, there are several classifications. You can have a white label, which is a base quality. You can have a blue label, which is, or a gold label, which is sod quality. And the very highest quality is called a diamond tag. So keep an eye out for that too. And again, don't be penny wise and dollar foolish. You're going to be putting something in the ground that's going to last you for years. 
So spend a couple extra bucks and get a decent seed. Thanks.